Welcome back, everybody. I'm Mo Bogsley, joined here with Elaine for another Clash Bash. Elaine, how are you today? I'm I'm good. It's been a good day. How are you? I am doing great. We have Kano, which is my boy, versus Kasai, who is your girl up next. Who do you have and why? Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. I know the right answer, but I'm going to go with my heart. And <laughs> I'm going to say I have Kasai because I always have her back. You know, that's my girl. I have I have to pick Kasai. She is going to pull all of the blues and run all the AB and just, yeah, smash it. We, we love a girl's girl over here. Uh, I'm going to go with Kano, obviously. Uh, I think this one's going to be short and sweet. Kano's just going to start blasting, but... Let's go to the game and see what happens. Get right into this. Kano Ooh. versus Kasai. So I believe this is the same Kano that we saw in the earlier round. Uh, and I believe it should be the same Kasai as well. Same Kasai. All right. Um, so it looks like Kasai is going first. They are starting off with a saber with no go again. Nothing special. But Kano is respecting it. Oh, this is Patrick Shaw on Kasai. Pat Shaw. Awesome. Kano is respecting it. I mean, it's turn zero, so might as well not leak any damage through. You do start at a lower life, but we're going to see the Kano activation, and I'll let you talk about what Kano's doing. Yeah, so Kano is just trying to get some free damage. Uh, with Kasai having AB2, it's very easy to find an Aether Spindle or just pass the turn, I guess. Uh, but Kano is really looking for Aether Spindle, some kind of big damage spell, or any energy pots, potions of deja vu or anything to try to take the tempo on turn zero. Uh, with Kasai normally being pretty red line, it is hard to block all the AB. So if Kano has a good start to his turn here, we can see Kasai drop down very quickly. Yeah, we are running AB um, two instances of AB one right here. The gallantry gold can be pretty make for a pretty powerful turn too. So we'll see if we see that activation bef if we make it that far. Um, yeah, that lesson is a in lava. Big if because lesson in lava coming in for four, it's gonna leak two damage and two drop anything that costs two or less. Uh, a very standard line in Kano is to play lesson to get the other lesson to play that lesson to get Blazing Aether and just push over tons of damage, but we'll see what the Kano player decides to grab here. I am glad that um, I have you sitting across from me. My, my Kano knowledge, I'm working on improving it, but, you know, I can only I uh, learn from pros like you. That's a strong word right there. I, I think it's appropriate. Um, Kasai also, I'll say, like, Kasai is not a... Um, I, you mentioned Kasai being more of like a red line deck, and that's definitely true. We don't run a whole lot of blue. Um, and we did see a yellow pitched, which could just be efficient because, you know, coming in for two, pitching two, you can prevent two. But we'll see if we get a blue. Yeah, Aether Quickening coming in next. Uh, it Honestly, most of them is just a one for four. It does have Surge that can give it go again uh, with Kano not pumping it. It is just a vanilla one for four that will demand a card or drop Kasai to below 15. Yeah, it's, it's pretty scary how fast Kano can chip away at your life. And I think that you do have to try and prevent it as much as you can and then just present damage when you can as Kasai. But sometimes the argument is there to just take it and try and swing back. I guess we'll see what Patrick has in hand. Starting off with a blue hit and run into a slice and dice. I always call this a slizzy dizzy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> good old slizzy dizzy coming across the A good old slizzy dizzy. That's just, I don't know. I just... With the lead for speed, so Kasai is basically saying, I'm going hard this turn. Either you're going to give me your full hand or I'm going to die. There's really no in between, I feel like, for this turn. And Kano just taking it down to nine. Down to nine, and we down see to the... Four. Down to four. Wow. And did Kasai choose not to arsenal there? I believe they had one card left over. Yeah. Oh, uh, did they have one card left over? I don't... That turn was so it... quick that I might have missed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but Kano popping his Mage Master Boots to give this Aether Spindle a go again, uh, really representing a high damage turn. 
Uh, Aether Spindle being an iconic Kano spell, dealing for opting X, where X damage is dealt. Uh, with the staff, it will be five damage with go again. Five damage with go again. So we're definitely going to take at least um, three here, because we can only prevent two of it. Um, what? What? I know that Kino has a lot of spells where you're trying to build on top of damage dealt. So what are what are the kill cons here? What are, what cards might that Kino player be looking at? Or um, yeah, so being able to opt. Uh, well, first off, snapback coming in here for three more. Uh, this always has go again slash instant speed if you've played another wizard non attack. So Wiz Kano still keeping his action point probably for blazing aether. Uh, being the last card which deals damage dealt equal to the amount of arcane damage dealt this turn. Uh, we don't know if that Aether Spindle topped or bottomed, so Kano might just put Blazing Aether on top. He might have pitch stacked their deck for the next turn. We will have to see. But cards like Aether Flare, Blazing Aether like we see there, coming in for five more damage, putting side on to two. Ooh, and we'll see what the... So this is what gonna most likely be the last last turn. We'll see either Kano Kano has a kill on this turn or this is getting a little bit scary because Kasai has two cards in hand coming in for two. We'll see if there's a reaction here that the Kano has to it, act fast. Very importantly, oh. performance bonus red pitched uh, with a lead for speed red. So either Kasai is sandbagging that last blue to try to bait Kano into going off here or. No, yep, it looks like the they swing. just don't have a blue. So Kato... Uh, so this is it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> any damage um, off the top will kill Kasai, unfortunately. And it looks like a blue Scalding Rain that does two damage was found. Ragamuffin's hat being Ragamuffin. activated. Drawing a card, putting the card back on top. I don't believe Kano needs the extra damage, but they are playing safe, making sure they do everything correctly here. Yeah, just in case there's any tricks, I guess you never really know. Pitching a blue zap to play Reverberate. That one does three damage and lets you play a card from hand with cost less than damage dealt. And that is it. There we Kano go. started blasting, unfortunately. That is how a lot of those games go. So this is the Kano, the second Kano Clash game that we've watched, and I know that um, uh, we were both the first Kano game we watched. We were both a little bit uncertain about how Kano would perform in Clash. What do you? What are your thoughts now about Kano and Clash after seeing two games from you know as a Kano player yourself? Yeah. So like I said earlier, back when I played Clash with you, uh, I was too scared to play Kano. I didn't think he had enough gas. I was worried everybody was going to bring AB4 and just kind of like roll me. But these Kano players are showing that Kano is still good. Lesson in Lava, Blazing Aether, Reverberate, Aether Spindle. You still get all the iconic Kano cards. And a lot of players just, they don't have the blues. They don't have the resources. And they just can't respect you. And you will just blow up anybody that shows no respect. Yeah, I mean, we've seen it happen twice then. And even... Even then, I think Patrick, you know, you did what you can. You bring in two, you, mm -hmm. two ABE, and um, we saw we saw blue, we saw two yellows. Even then, it it was just too much to handle. So, yeah, unfortunately, Patrick drawing the three red hand at the end of the game. Whenever you get those clunks of reds, Kano will just abuse that and take advantage. And Patrick did say, "Kill me or you're dead." That was yeah. a kill on the stack. Uh, so he almost got there. He almost got there. It was a good good game. Congrats to both players. Well played. And yeah, we'll see you on the next Fab Clash. Yeah, and Elaine, where can we find you? Oh, right. Uh, <laughs> uh, you can find me on Twitter uh, under E Hamontree. I do I do a lot of cool things, or at least things that I think are cool. Um, and yeah, I, I have a I have a podcast and a league, and all of that is in my Twitter bio. So if you can go check it out. And how about yourself, Mo? You can find me on Twitter as well, at Mobogsley. I mainly ship posts, do tournament reports, and just kind of have fun. So hope to see you guys over there, and we will see you guys in the next one.